hey, today what I want to do is look at some SEO optimization scores and some more readability scores from seowriting.ai, specifically comparing and contrasting a couple of the different language models that you might use when you write a blog post. So just to get a little housekeeping out of the way, uh, I am an affiliate for seowriting.ai, but I do have my own subscription that I pay for myself. If you do per make a purchase through the link in the description for this video, I will make a commission. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Here I'm in Rank Atom. Uh, I just happen to use it today to pick out a keyword to write about. As you can see, I've chosen, can you use an action camera for vlogging? So that's what we're going to have uh, SEO writing use as the keywords for the article that we're going to write today. So my goal for the two articles that I wrote, I wanted to make sure that I was using the same keywords, same title, all the settings for the articles were the same. They all use the same keywords and they use the same outline. So for example, here's one of the articles, the first one that's written in GPT 3.5. As you can see, can you use an action camera for vlogging as the main keyword? The title is action cameras for vlogging, yes or no. For both uh, articles that I wrote, that's the keyword and the title that I used. I used a friendly tone of voice, English language, first person point of view, target country, United States. I didn't put any images in the article. I didn't think it mattered for this comparison. So here are all the keywords in the SEO section, and these are all out of Neuron Writer. So what I did is I did a content query in Neuron Writer, and the content query was, can you use an action camera for vlogging? And then of course, these are all the terms that they want you to use in the article, the basic terms, the extended terms. I grabbed those out of uh, Neuron Writer and I brought them over into SEO writing and this is where they are in the SEO section. So for the structure, I used identical structures using a conclusion, tables, H3s, lists, italics, no quotes, key takeaways, uh, no FAQ, bolded text, I'm using connect to web for this comparison. Both articles use that. I use the outline editor. I had uh, this outline generated specifically by seowriting.ai with the magic bag tool. And the uh, outline uh, generation is done in GPT-4 128K Turbo. And so I went through, I like the, the t all the headings. And I just went with the default that they that it gave me, uh, not publishing to WordPress, not using an API key. So here's the article that it produced. And again, this is the GPT 3.5 hybrid language model. That's the default uh, language model seowriting.ai uses. It uses the fewest amount of keyword credits. So it's the cheapest article for you to write in seowriting.ai. And so it wrote this article. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm going to copy it and I'm going to take it and I'm going to drop it over into Neuron Writer and we'll get our score. It's a 63. Now bear in mind, the top score for the selected competitors is a 62. We're at a 63. So this, this is what you're going to get straight out of the 3.5 language model from SEO writing. It's going to get you a 63 out of 62. Now, one thing to bear in mind, every article is different. You know, it's really hard to use a single article as the ultimate judge for the quality of the SEO optimization that you're going to get every time. I want to just make sure that we're clear about that. You know, statistically, it's just not significant enough. You know, we'd have to do this maybe with 10 or 12 or 15 articles uh, to really make this statistically significant. But I do think that it will give you a feeling for the differences between a GPT-4 article and a GPT-3.5. So now that we've dropped it into Neuron Writer, we know we're, we've got a score of a 63. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll jump over to Hemingway and see what kind of score we have there. And then we'll go into Grammarly and do the same. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this article. And just to make sure everybody knows what's going on, we are in the GPT 3.5 plus GPT 4 128K turbo model. This is the hybrid model that SEO writing had been using up until recently when it added some additional language models we could write in. We're going to copy this. We'll go over to Hemingway. We'll drop it in. 
and it's a grade 15. So readability, you know, Hemingway says that readability is poor, aim for 14. We have 106 of 199 sentences are very hard to read. So, of course, this is the kind of thing uh, that you could uh, make changes to. Uh, many times just breaking up these more difficult to read sentences will dramatically reduce the score. But just out of the box, here we are, grade 15. If we go to Grammarly, we'll drop it in. We'll go with their default settings, and you can see there's an 88 score. And we'll check plagiarism, and we're at 3% plagiarism. So again, this is the hybrid model. Now let's do the same thing and see what kind of score we get from the GPT-4 model that I used. So just so everybody can see that I set this up identically, again, main keyword, can you use an action camera for vlogging? Action cameras for vlogging, yes or no. So we're using the same main keyword, using the same title. Uh, all the settings are the same. medium size article, friendly tone of voice, first person, point of view, United States. Same keywords out of uh, Neuron Writer. Same structure, set that up the same. Connect to web, both use that. Both use this particular outline. And so that's, that's what I used. And the language um, model that was used for this article, and this is the, the important part, it's GPT-4 128K Turbo. Notice it's going to use seven times more words for, from a word credit standpoint. So that's the thing to bear in mind. Uh, it is going to be a more expensive article to write because it's going to use more words from your word credits. But does it make a difference and is it worth it? So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to copy the article. Now remember, the 3.5 article is a 63 score. Let me just delete this completely. Let's put in the new article. And right away, you can see we're at a 71. 62 is the, again, highest of all selected competitors is a 62. We're at a 71. Uh, right away, you can see that the GPT-4 uh, 128K Turbo article did optimize better than the 3.5 article. So what about readability scoring? Let's go over to Hemingway and see how that turns out. All right, here's the article. It's a grade 13. So the 3.5 was a grade 15. This comes out at a readability score of grade 13. And so there are also fewer sentences that are very hard to read. That's a really good thing. So let's go ahead and try this in Grammarly and see what kind of score we get here. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll drop it into Grammarly. Use the default settings. And as you can see, the score is an 88. So a, very, so a similar score, 3.5 article in the, in the uh, GPT-4 article score the same, an 88 for readability and Grammarly. But let's look at the plagiarism. The GPT-3.5 article had 3% plagiarism. Uh, this GPT-4 128K Turbo article has 1% plagiarism. Advantage to the GPT-4 article. So let's go ahead and take a look at the scoring. Again, this is the SEO writing.ai SEO optimization and readability scores, uh, the two language models that were used, the hybrid language model, GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, uh, the neuron writer score. Again, we were shooting for anything over a 62 to be better than our competitors. It was a 63. The Hemingway uh, readability score was grade 15. Grammarly readability score was an 88 with 3% plagiarism. Now, just the GPT-4 128K Turbo alone, that language model alone, again, we're shooting for anything above a 62. We, we got a 71. Hemingway was a grade 13. Grammarly, they're tied at, eight, at 88, but there was only 1% plagiarism. So in this case, for this specific article, uh, the winner is definitely GPT-4 128K Turbo. Really, this is going to depend on how much you want to pay to write an article, right? So if it's an article with an extremely low search volume, you may want to write in 3.5 because here's the deal. If you write it in 3.5, even though the Neuron Writer score was a 63, you could still go in and do some more optimization and raise that score if you want to do that. 
you can go into Hemingway and use and look for those particularly difficult to read sentences and split them up and make changes to them until you lowered this grade level. And of course, in Grammarly, your readability score will go up. If you have a paid version of Grammarly, you can go in and ha have it make a lot of corrections and raise the score as well, make a few adjustments to some text and lower the plagiarism score. Now, that's extra work. So if you don't want to do that extra work, if you have enough word credits, then I would write in GPT for 128K Turbo. Uh, yes, it uses seven times the word credits, but right out of the gate, your Neuron Writer score is better, your Hemingway score is better, your Plagiarism score is better, and again, you can make a few adjustments and raise this 88 up to, you know, a 90. I like to have my score around 95 in Grammarly before uh, I would post that uh, particular article. So uh, that's the breakdown. I wanted to show you this. Uh, I had a variety of questions asking me to uh, put this together. If you found this useful, please like, uh, feed that YouTube search algorithm and make this particular video show up more in the feeds. So if you'd like it, that'd be great. And of course, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, visit MikeShuey.com. Sign up for my free monthly newsletter as well. So until next time, take care.